look what I got today, Saturday afternoon. Smart power inverter, DC to AC, and USB. Cool. Hmm. More specs. Cool. All right, so um, after we played around with it for a little bit, it comes with these two cool alligator clip things and this uh, 12 volt car adapter thing. <clears throat> so I'm assuming that I can screw these onto these ends, plug it into my cigarette lighter, and then I can plug in, you know, if I have something in the car that I need to charge up. But um, I have a smaller one for my laptop and any kind of, uh, you know, incidentals like that. Um, so let me show you the spot that I picked out. So um, so there's my fridge. I have the little table out. Um, it's going to go right here against this wall, against this uh, piece of wood right there. Let's see if I can do it with two hands. So I'm going to do it with my hands. So let's see. Approximately. Approximately. Like that. All right. Can't really see what I'm doing. So there's the alarm. Yeah, approximately like that. I honestly can't believe that I got all my stuff within three days. I ordered it on Wednesday. I got most of it Thursday and uh, the inverter today. I wasn't expecting expecting it till Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to do a test run tonight um, to see how much my fridge and my cell phone will drain my battery. So um, there's the battery. I don't know if you can see it on the on camera there, but it's there right underneath my bed to the left of my fridge. I'm going to hook up the inverter to it, which is here, and then I'm going to plug in the fridge on one side and um, my phone into one of these USB ports, and um, we'll see some readings with the batteries full. Basically, I just did that little test earlier, but that's it. Um, so I'm just going to get some basic readings tonight, let this fridge and my phone plugged in run overnight, and then... Um, We'll see what it's like in the morning okay so let me set this up and i'll be right back okay so i've got it set up here um can you read that no it says 12.9 volts and it's our amps hang on and it's upside down from you guys so let's see can you read that 12.9 i've got the fridge plugged in that this plug right here and i'm going to turn this on here powering on it's at 12.7 volts now and that from my understanding is a good voltage to to be at 12.6 12.7 i just saw it shift again um and see there is a 12.6 12.7 all right so we're good for right now it is it is 7.24 p.m. And I took a look at the, um, I took a picture of the sticker on the compressor on the back of the fridge. And it says that that pulls in 2.80 amps. I just heard, I just heard the inverter power down a little bit, like, you know, boosting up kind of power because I think the fridge just kicked on let's see this so yeah apparently the fridge just kicked on now it's down to 12.5 and I'm assuming that the 12.5 are watts or amps 12.5 watts I don't know somebody could let me know I'll probably figure it out eventually before I even post this video but so that's the readings for right now. I don't have my phone plugged in yet because I'm recording with it. And I'm going to be transferring this video to my computer and then I'll plug it in for the night. Oh, it just dropped to 12.3. I think it's because my fridge kicked on. And I do hear it. So yeah, so that's because it's on now. It's at 12.4 again. So that's good. Um, I was told not to let it run under 11.3, I think. That's about uh, as low as you want the biter to go. But um, so far so good. Now it's at 12.3. So we'll see. This should kick off and kick back off in a minute. 12.2, 12.3. All right. So um, I'll update you if anything. Okay. So it is now 9:24. My 
phone that's fully charged, it's been two hours. Um, we're at 12.3. Still, 12.3, so it's alternating between 12.3 and 12.4. It's been two hours, so it's looking good. Um, all right, we'll see you again later tonight or in the morning. So it's 6.40 in the morning, it's almost been 12 hours. I can't read that. 10.5. <clears throat> so, um, I'm gonna, um, 9.3 now. So I'm gonna turn this off. 10.6. Um, almost 12 hours. Not bad. Um... Alright, I'll talk more about that later. Back to bed. Alright, so it's been about half an hour since I've been up. Um, this is reading 11.4, which is what the charge on the battery is now, the voltage. Um, it was at 12.9 yesterday when we started, so it's down a lot. So, I'm going to take this outside and um, hook up the solar panels and uh, get you guys some readings and stuff like that and uh, charge the battery up again. It says 30%, 3.4, I'll have to go through the manual and see if there's what those readings mean and I'll insert some pictures if I can. So it's um, 8.30 now, um, the battery says, I think it said 30% charged, which is really far under 50% and I thought that you shouldn't go under 50% but um it didn't give me any warnings or beeps or anything and it didn't shut off that inverter and I think it does have that capability so we'll see let's take one more reading out here so that reading probably changed a little because now I'm pointing it more directly at the sun let's see what this is 11.9 still oh get you guys in focus here all right zero load 18 degrees celsius 15 percent 15 load I'm not sure what that meant 11.9 volts, 30% maybe charged. And um, the manual that comes with it doesn't really explain much, which really stinks. But um, so I've got the battery here, and then the inverter on this side. It's reading 11.6. It looks funny on screen. It says 11.7 now. Alrighty, so it's a little after 9, like 9.20. I'm going to go get another reading. See what this is up to. Alright, let's see if I can get you guys there. 4.5. Okay. So now that we have some readings, I'm going to put up that little sheet again. So we can see the... Uh, what that all means. But yeah, and the inverter says 12.1. You can kind of see it there. I don't know why it's, um, maybe because it's charging, it's blinking like that, because it didn't blink inside like that, which is weird. It might be because it's charging. All right, so it's 10, 10 about. So let's get another reading. Oh, let me show you. I brought my uh, my little coffee machine out and uh, have to plug it to the inverter. Nothing's on yet, but um, oh, you know what? While I'm here, just add this water. Yes, I'm adding water into my old coffee because I need a little more and I want to try this out. See if I can use my coffee machine on solar. Since I'm going to be using it in the mornings, I'll have sunlight coming in, charging the battery. So let's get a base reading again. Not sure if you guys can see that because I can't, but I'll leave it there for a minute. So we can get some readings. All right. Now let's turn on the inverter.
that is not a it says super quiet fan on the box but it was humming all night man when I woke up this morning and I turned it off my head was still humming for a minute so it's kind of loud and I'm gonna be having that right under my bed maybe my cushion will muffle it anyway so um the inverter's on let's see if what happens if I turn on the coffee machine Did um, change the tone. I can't read what the readings say, so I'm not making live comments because I'm kind of at an angle. And everybody knows on cell phones, if you're outdoors, it's really hard to see. So there's that. That's got enough reading. I hear the coffee machine starting. This thing says 9.6. Look, I'm making coffee in this little tiny um, coffee machine. Let's see if I can get if there's any specs on it under here. Yeah, there's some specs there. I hope you guys can see that because I can't. I'll try to take a picture of it later. So we can get some, uh, for some those guys, those of you who know more about watts and stuff or are interested, this little coffee machine, it's only like, you know, some little coffee pot for one that I bought at like uh, Walgreens or something. Whoever sells Living Solutions, CVS, Walgreens, um, <clears throat> it's working. It's working. Let's see if I can brew this whole pot without killing the battery. Let's see what we're reading there. So that 15 should always be 15. The EO should always be EO because there's no error on there. Cool, so that's working. That's working, cool. So I can do that, uh, now I know I can do that. Make coffee in the morning. I was worried because, um, or I was thinking, if I wake up and the, the batteries are that low, you know, I, I shouldn't really use it for anything. But if I'm gonna have my solar panel out overnight, as soon as the sun comes up, it's gonna start charging the batteries. So I could operate the coffee machine. Um, in the morning which is gonna be nice nice thing to do so um cool that's another thing we could run okay so um maybe I can't make a whole pot of coffee I just got an E1 and the battery looks like it's drained around 0.7 And um, I turned off the inverter. I got that much coffee though. So that's, that's a good cup. <laughs> um, let's let this thing charge. All right, so it's been a little bit, like a half an hour since the last time. Let's see what this thing says. Again, I can't read it as I'm recording, so I'm just gonna record in silence. And then I'll go back and look at it. All right, so I unhooked the inverter from here that's just the solar panels now and I'm getting a better reading so I don't know if I can't have both of them plugged in at the same time but um the battery looks more charged now and I'm not getting the error message anymore 12.2 volts 48% charged all right so I wonder what that's all about Okay, so I think I know why I was getting that, those weird readings. As you can tell, I hooked everything back up again. Uh, this, this is the solar panel, this is the inverter. Um, I had loosened these nuts here so I can twist the cables up, and I never tightened them again, so there wasn't getting a good connection. And now that I did that, it changed the reading. Let's see if I can get this. You can see that. No error message, 
12.5 volts, 63% charged. Cool. So it was just those loose connections. That was giving me the, the bad reading. So I wonder if I can make a full pot of coffee. Um, now that the uh, connections are a little tighter. Um, I'll try that out, uh, I guess, tomorrow morning. All right, so let's go get one last reading for today and see. Um, it's been about, uh, I don't know, I think it was 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30 last time I measured, maybe 11, and it's 12.30 now, so an hour and a half. Let's see what it's, the batteries look like now. And I know I keep saying batteries, plural, but it's not a single, single battery. Let's see if I can get this in focus this time. There we go. Zero drain, 39 degrees Celsius. 15 load EO 12.8 volts from the solar panel 75% charged cool so I'm almost done about another hour and I should be completely charged and I think maybe a total of three hours to charge that battery now that all the connections are uh, tight and stuff um, I'm guessing it's gonna take about three hours but I'll do a better test tomorrow all right so that's it for this video but stay tuned for more